Okay, Emily Caggiano and I are here with a dead Virginia opossum trying to look at what's going on with the marsupial bones. So if you actually look at, or the epipubic bones as they're often known. So here is um, a, a possum skeleton, and here's sort of what we're interested in, which are these two bones that sit right here that um, are called epipubic bones. Now they're sometimes called marsupial bones because marsupials have them, but it turns out that monotremes have them and even some um, non-mammalian uh, therapsids um, have them as well, even some basal eutherians, but no living placental mammal has these. And so the question is, what, was this, what were these bones all about? And a few years ago, somebody actually here at Ohio University, Steve Riley, actually studied these things um, using electromyography um, and Emily, if you could show us how those things work when they go back and forth. So actually with, with the step cycle, they actually go back and forth and sort of do this kind of thing. And we can sort of see that right there. So if we look at it and see how this thing is driven by the muscles, one of the things that we can see in here is that here is the epipubic bone right in here. And you can see how it's forked. Let me pull our bones back in here. So if we can sort of see um, the epipubic bone on the skeleton and Emily can you show the epipubic bone there on the on the dissection there on that side yeah so you can see it right in there and you can see there's a fork to it so on the medial side of the epipubic bone we've got a muscle that sits right in here called pyramidalis and you can sort of see its fiber direction kind of goes like this on this side it kind of goes like that and what's sort of cool is that these fiber directions on this side, the pyramidalis, actually cross over and then will actually merge with the fibers of external oblique. And likewise on this other side, and so you get this crisscross pattern that actually helps to work the muscles. But what's really cool about this system is this unusual muscle um, uh, that we all have, but in these guys is special, called pectineus. Can you grab pectineus there, Emily? So we can sort of see that muscle, we can see it on the other side here, you can see it looks different, it's darker, and attaches right onto this little uh, lateral prong of the, um, right there, of the epipubic bone. Can you show us where that attaches? Um, so we can sort of see it right there. So if you tug on that muscle, you can sort of see how it, it moves the epipubic bone. Or if you do the flip side, can you take the epipubic bone and move it immediately? You can see how it actually makes the, the muscle move. And so the idea, what Steve Riley and his colleagues suggested, is that this whole system, this epipubic bone system, actually relates to how possums and, and basically primitive style mammals actually locomote it, which is, is more of the sideways sort of undulation that we see in reptiles, rather than the sagittal sorts of movements that we see in, in placentals. And so the idea is that this epipubic system with the bone sort of rocking alternatively with locomotion actually help to make the, the trunk region rigid to allow sort of the diagonal couplets, uh, for, uh, the uh, one side forelimb retracting with the opposite side hind limb, and then it reverses that way. Um, versus the kind of symmetrical bounding gates or the asymmetrical bounding gates that we get in, in placentals. And so the thought then is that potentially the reduction and loss of these epipubic bones um, leading in the line leading to placentals may have to do with actually this shift in locomotion from this lateral undulation that we see in reptiles and, the, and in these primitive mammals to the more sagittal um, sort of bounding gates that we see in, in, in placentals. And so it's sort of cool to get these uh, little epipubic bones in here to sort of see how that system works. And I don't know if anybody's ever done muscle physiology on this pectineus muscle, but that sure looks different. Um, like it might have different muscle physiology than some of the surrounding muscles. So pretty cool little system and a fun thing to dissect here as we take this possum apart. Great.